Let's have some enlightenment from wind. See if he can give us something to do. Four freaking... Oh. We have four quests. Uh, there's... Uh, performing spinning heart three times in a row. Enter a new comment to make a new move. Uh, find a status tier bur buried under rubble and bring it here. Which I have no idea where, what that is. At least I, I don't remember. Poison versus poison. Have to bring a moldy bread, a manita, and long sword. Huh. I don't think I have any of that right now. Well, I can perform the commands right now, but that's about it. Okay, what was this about? Uh -huh. Oops. Winner! What you got for me? Rocket Slash, a new skill, yay! And now enter up, left, down, right. Oops. Much better. Martial art. Uh, status tier. I have no idea what's the status uh, statue tier. Sta statue tier. Statue tier. I'm gonna have to check that out eventually, I guess. Oh well. Well, there's something now. Something that I'm going to do. Since I've pretty much did the quest right now. Uh, I think this is going to be a way. I'm not too sure though, it's been a long time. Oh hey, Glazialabolas! Great, I'm poisoned. My defense is down. No, wait, my defense is not down at all. My mind is, though. I'm taking damage, of course. So you're going to stay here forever. And that opens this, which gives an access to the Tower of Death. Which is pretty much your clock tower of this game, I guess? Unless there's an actual clock tower, which I didn't see yet. But oh well. The music here is awesome. And there's a secret wall here. Or secret something. Oh, Iron Helmet again. And these platforms are flipping again. Spikes, like the usual spikes of every um, tower you know. There's a boss here. Where's the save? Here. Okay, I won't bother with this part yet, because I'm going to defeat the boss. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, because I forgot my potions! I can just go back and buy them. What the hell. It's not that far, I mean. Well, I guess I'm gonna cut that, though. And so we're back, with probably enough potion to survive the fight. Not too sure, though, but oh well. Let's do this! Yep! We're fighting against one of the sisters! <laughs> I've grown tired of waiting. Show yourself, Vampire. Watch your tongue, mortal. I held back with my father president, but here, you're as good as dead. If any strength should come, uh, come here alone, well, it simplifies things. I, alone, would take care of you. I'll tear you apart. Limb by limb, they wring all the blood from your bodies. And get out. She has some stupid.
stupid attacks that I don't like. She's gonna use... She's gonna use a physical attack. She's gonna use a wave attack. And then a freaking ground dash attack. And at some point when she's... Uh, when she's lacking on health, uh, she's gonna start using some um, some move that creates multiple crescents that are come, gonna come after me after a while, and you have to avoid them all. Make sure not to get, take too much damage. Because our our, da our attacks can be kind of hurtful, like 60 damage. Fire! Every time she does the, this attack, by the way, she does it twice. Uh, when, when she does the, um, uh, not, not that, freaking hell, just show the attack already. Okay, you're just not listening, fine, make you pay. Okay, now she's starting to do this, you, uh, try, try avoiding this, there's gonna be four of them, and she's gonna keep attacking you as well. So this might be kind of a problem. Only one? Come on! Yeah, please observe. Now she's gonna do this again. Okay. She makes four of them. Just try jumping out of the way. And um, not like what I'm doing right now. She's gonna do it again. Okay. Oh no, you and your physical. Ow! Stupid crescent. I'm not doing a good job avoiding stuff, am I? Oh hey, you! Oh, that was simple. What happened to me? You finished. Oh, oh, don't think so. My, my head. Are you all right, sister? I'm, I'm fine. Loretta, we were warned not to leave the painting. You must call me later. Th these two are a threat to father. We must take care of them now. No. For now, we return. Hear me, both of you. If you continue to oppose father, we will show no mercy. Oppose us, and we will kill you. Oh, what's this? It's stealing my words! <laughs> it's like a locket. There's a photo inside. Huh. This wind. And those two vampire girls! What does it mean? I have no idea. We should go ask him about it. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, do that now, actually. I think he gives you a couple, a couple more quests now, so... Uh, might be a good idea. I still don't know about those missions that I'm missing. And by missing, I mean I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Wind! What's the meaning of this? Look at this photo! <laughs> you owe us an explanation! Ah, oh, indeed I do. Let me tell you my real name. It's Eric. Eric Lacard. Yay! He's... Who? <laughs> you don't mean... The man who fought by my father? Yes. John was my best friend. Then what's your relationship with the two girls in the photo? They're my daughters. Uh, hold on a sec! Aren't they Browner's daughter? Bronner lost his real daughter in World War I. His anger and grief awaiting at his sin in power, which he used to become a vampire. So his daughters? He believes the daughters he lost in the war were born as my daughters. So I kind of just stole them from you? 
his daughters for his life. Now that he has them back, he wants to punish the humans whose war has ruined his life. I see. That's why the wars. Uh, that's why the whip started acting up in front of those two. It's because they carry the blood of the Lacard family. Of course, the vampire killer. Eric, if you found by Jonathan's father, then you must know how to unlock the vampire killer power. Yes, I do know, but if you know, then tell me. What shall I do? In order for the Morris family to use the Vampire Killer, you need the power of the Lacard family. But I can't help you, and of course, now that my daughter has been turned to vampires. So in the end, uh, this whip is useless. I guess my being its hair is just the, mo the emptiest, most meaningless title of all. I was forbidden to tell you this, but I think the time has come. The reason your father died. I know why he died. They say he was mortally wounded when he stopped Dracula's resurrection. Even I know that was the cause. You're wrong. <laughs> a one who is not of the Belmon family to use the true power of the Vampire Killer, they must give up a part of their own life. That's why my family access to power's key, so that it can only be used when truly necessary. Don't use the whip too much. So what are you saying? You mean my father died because of this whip? Exactly. Which is why he didn't want to teach you how to use it. He wanted you to develop the strength to survive without using the whip. No matter how much you might hate him for doing that, in the end, he was only looking out for you. <sighs> you might not yet mm, wield your whip like a Belmont, but that power can be yours. I know that John had his reason. Father! I knew there was a reason! Aren't you glad, Jonathan? I just don't get it. Why did the Belmont give this thing to the Morris family? Not for this, we will have been spared so much pain! Because the Belmont cannot touch the whip now, it is predicted that Dracula will be revived in year 1999. I've heard that the Belmont must not touch the Vampire Killer until then. But! Others have appeared to revive Dracula in the meantime. Somebody has to stand up and stomp them. And only the Morris family is able to do that. Oh well then. At least I finally know the truth about my father and the whip. So, are you okay with this? The job that we have to do is gonna end up hurting your own daughters. I wonder if there's a chance we can save those two if we use some, uh, some kind of purification spell. The chances are very slim. You should know that. Even I never knew how to do it. I appreciate your sentiments, but I'm resigned to the fate. I see. Forgive us, Jonathan, for placing this burden upon you. No problem. I'll just do what I can. And if you accepted it, so do I. Let's go, Charlotte. Right! <laughs>